it is now time to waterproof the bed. And we can do this through a variety of methods, but the most common and the easiest way to do this is using a pond liner. Um, there's EPDM pond liner, there's PVC pond liner, polyethylene uh, pond liner. Um, any one of these pond liners will pretty much work. And for this size uh, bed that we have, um, we're using an eight by 10, eight by 10 um, PVC pond liner. And uh, there's 20 mil pond liner. That's pretty much the smallest you wanna go is about 20 mil. Um, and then there's all the way up to 40 mil pond liner. Um, so eight by 10 will, is a perfect fit for this bed. So for you guys out there, a lot of you guys, if you don't, you know, if you're not too confident, you probably want to go up the next size, the next size, um, that's bigger than the eight by 10. Cause this is this eight by 10 is meant to get it right. Perfectly. It's meant to get it like right. The edges, everything perfectly in there. Um, and uh, just leave a small amount of room left. So, um, with that said, all we need to do is we'll just pretty much cover the pond liner on the bed and we can use our staple gun to kind of organize some of the parts that we're working on and just to keep it in, out of out of the way pretty much so the more difficult part is going to be working with these corners here um so the, the the trick is we're going to have a little extra a little bit of slack that's coming out of the corners just because of the way the shape of the pond liner is so the trick is you see that there's kind of a the the flap is kind of folded out already so we just take a little piece of it and fold it back take the flap and fold it back. That's pretty much the trick. So say it with me, take the flap, fold it back. And then from there, we can just staple that flap that we, um, that we kind of sectioned out. We can just staple that together. So it's just a small, um, it's just a little minor, um, uh, technique that you use just to put the pine liner together. Um, and then from there we just cut all the, um, the, the excess, uh, pond liner. It's not going to be that much. If you use the eight by 10, it was really not going to be that much to cut off. Cause it's, it's like I said, it's pretty much made to fit this type of bed, you want to make sure when you're cutting that you don't cut, you don't overcut it because it's then you're going to shorten the, the amount of pond liner you have. It's probably better to go around and staple them first. Make sure that, uh, that, that all it's all nice and flat. Everything's nice and flat. And then you can staple each part in here. But you know, I've been doing it for a while, so I pretty much know how much to cut off and how much to keep, but you can do this part first and just staple it on there first, get it all the way down nice and neat and then you can begin cutting off um, the, the, uh, the excess. Remember that hole that we drilled? Absolutely, that inch and a quarter hole that we put in there, we need to come back to that, and this is where we're gonna cut inside of the pond liner um, to kind of just make a hole for our half inch uniseal that's gonna go in here. Now, if you're cutting, like how I'm cutting here, I'm just taking a little knife here, you wanna make sure you don't cut that much. You wanna make sure that you cut a little bit. We, wanna, we don't wanna overdo it with the cut. We wanna cut just enough so where we can stick this half inch unisil in there and it's going to be pinching on it. So it's going to be a tight fit. It's going to be pinching on the, the pond liner inside of the hole. 